Video 1. Duality of Mathematical Concepts. The research of human expressions suggests that many concepts in mathematics and elsewhere can be interpreted as either a value or extent of value, intensity or extent of intensity, magnitude or multitude, nesting or repetition, state or process, bounded or unbounded, and so on. Consider walking as an example. The act of walking could be interpreted as either a collection of discrete steps from between which space is removed or as a nested structure, such that the larger nest contains smaller nest, which contains even smaller nest, and so on. Walking results in a series of interconnected steps, such that the end of each previous step is the beginning of the next step. Even though all steps are discrete, they create a continuous stretch of distance. One could say that in the case of walking, all steps are concatenated, which stands for the process in which space between discrete entities such as steps is either removed or ignored. This is depicted by the animation below. The areas too could be concatenated, just as distances, which again involves physically removing or just ignoring the space between discrete units which in this case involves rotation and shifting. In addition to the sequential arrangement from the previous example, some multiples of squares could be concatenated into larger squares. Volumes too can be concatenated by rotating and shifting. When concatenated, the cubes create a continuous stretch of concatenated space. Volumes could also be concatenated by immersing the objects in water. Immersing objects in water explains why concatenation could literally be seen as removing space from between the objects. Note that now it is the column of water which constitutes a continuous stretch of volume. Concatenation becomes more obvious if considered in the context of subtraction. Let us remove the third square. How many squares are left? There are four squares left. Therefore, five squares minus the third square equals four squares. Let us consider subtraction in the context of nesting. When the row of squares is interpreted as nested areas, the result is different. 5 squares minus the third square equals 2 squares. There are only 2 squares left. This is because removing the third square also removes the second one, removing of which removes the first square. Unlike the concatenated squares, each of which is separate, the areas in the example are nested, so 5 contains 4, which contains 3, which contains 2, which contains 1, which contains 0. As a result, when the third square is removed, all three squares disappear. Hence, 5 minus 3 equals 2. On the basis of the previous discussion, there are two distinct ways of subtracting, one involving concatenation and the other nesting. Five steps minus the third step equals four steps represents concatenation. Five steps minus the third step equals two steps represents nesting. There are also two interpretations of continuity. In one interpretation, continuity is the absence of any gap between discrete elements. In another interpretation, continuity involves nested structures. In addition, there are two interpretations of numbers. In one interpretation, 
numbers are concatenated discrete units. In another one, numbers are interpreted as nested values. As a result, there are two interpretations of counting. In one interpretation, counting is a process of repeating a unit. In another interpretation, counting is a state of nested values. For something to nest something else, all nested entities have to be present at the same time. Many mathematical ideas exhibit conceptual duality. The concepts of numbers, counting, walking, distance, area, volume, extent, space, height, depth, time, continuity, infinity, infinitesimals, weight, mass, and many others can all be interpreted in two distinctive ways as a process of repetition or as a state of nesting. The ideas in this video come from the book published in 2014 under the title Conceptual and the Structure of Human Experience. The book can be purchased from Amazon. The research of human expression suggests that humans tend to think in two distinct ways which could be combined in various manners. The theory can be applied to various fields, one of which is mathematics.